Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I'm back with some more albums. So what albums did I get this time? Let's find out. All right, so I picked up a couple different ones. As I've said before in videos, when I'm buying them on whatnot, the first one, I think it's like $11 shipping. I know it's really high. And then each additional one is only a dollar. So it benefits if you can buy multiple albums from that same auction. Okay. So sometimes I'll pick up albums that I may want, but I wouldn't buy unless I was getting them for the dollar shipping. Okay. So let's start out. I'm going to save the one that I mainly bought this auction for. Um, this one is Super Tramp Paris. So hold that up so you guys can see it. Should turn on the other lights. I think that's my problem. But here's the inside of the album. And do we? Do we? We have just pictures. <laughs> just pictures and just more pictures and the song titles but no lyrics can't always win them can't always win them but uh pretty cool i like the fact that it's a double album um but there's only like four songs on each um on each side if you look right here so it's a double album and it's really cool but i mean it's not like you're getting eight to twelve tracks on each side all right and then the next one I picked up, because I picked up that one, I figured why not? I picked up Super Tramp, even in the quietest moments. That's a pretty cool album cover either way. And this one, oh yeah, we have lyrics. So uh, this one does come with lyrics, which is really cool. Um, God forbid you would never see this on the inside of an album cover. You know, smoking. Oh, don't smoke, yeah. I'm an ex-smoker, so give a little bit, lover boy, even in the quietest moments, downstream, from now on, fools of return. So there's all kinds of songs on here, but really cool. So I'm glad I got to add this. So two super tramps. All right. Next one is Jafaria, I believe is how it is pronounced. But when you look at the back, <laughs> this is definitely an 80s band. You can see that. Just look at all that hair. Love, love all that hair. Um, let's see. There's Do Me Right, Call to the Heat, Call to the Heart, sorry. Don't Tear Me Down, Dance, Lonely in Love, uh, Trouble Again, Turn Me On, Line of Fire, Out of the Blue. Now this one, sadly... This lot wasn't quite as mint as another lot I bought, but there is no sleeve on this cover. Okay. But I think truthfully, I got this for like a buck and then a buck shipping. So can't complain. Let's see. Next one I got was the Alan Parsons project. Okay. This one, Eye in the Sky. It does not. Oh, it does have lyrics on this side. On the other side, it does not. So we did score lyrics. That's pretty awesome. Uh, tiny lyrics, so not good for old people like me. But, you know, there's lots of ways to cheat and expand so you can see the lyrics. <laughs> uh, but, you know, back in the day, they would have been the perfect size. So this is pretty cool. Really cool cover, too. So I'm glad to add this one to it. And let's see. Now, the next one is an older band. And this is really an old album cover herman's hermits on tour so that's pretty cool i bought it because it is an older band they got a whole little story back here about them on tour and the, the songs that are on here can't you hear my heartbeat i'm henry the eighth i am the end of the world for the love i got a dream silhouettes heartbeat tell me baby all different kinds of cool songs and this one I believe because it is older yeah just a sleeve just a sleeve but that's pretty cool 
It does say their second album. <laughs> Oops. Uh, right there. Their second album. So that's pretty cool. I was just happy to add that one. Now, the reason I bought this lot, because I wanted this album, which uh, I actually have a fake cover of this album framed somewhere. I'm just not sure where. But this one is Rick Springfield, Tell. And I love Rick Springfield, first of all. And this was a pretty awesome cover. I really liked this cover. I think he looks really good in this cover. Uh, there he is on the back also. There we go. Let it clear up. But, um, but I really like this picture. It's always been one of my favorite pictures of Rick. Sadly, this one does not have a sleeve either. But I wanted this album. And again, as I've said in the past... I don't buy these albums because I want them to be like mint or pristine because if I did, I would just buy brand new ones. I like albums that look like they've been loved, you know, like, oh, somebody really liked this album. They, they taped it to the wall. Maybe I don't know what that mark is from. I, you know, I mean, who knows, you know, or, hey, they carried it under their arm, you know, back and forth to their best friend's house, you know. I mean, albums tell different stories for different people. So I, that's why, you know, albums, music, everything. As for concerts, Alan Parsons Project have not seen them in concert. Uh, Super Tramp have not seen them in concert. Jafaria, nope, I have not. Herman's Hermits, of course, no. Uh, but Rick Springfield, I have seen Rick Springfield. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to guess. 30 times. <laughs> okay. Um, I could tell you Rick Springfield was in a movie called Hard to Hold back in the 80s. I was in junior high school, I believe. And movies used to come out every Friday. And I remember when this movie came out, my mom let me stay home from school that day. And she called out of work that day. And, uh, you know, great parenting, right? In my book, yes. Uh and we went to the movie theaters and we seen Hard to Hold with Rick Springfield. And I have never forgot that to this day. That is one of my best memories of, you know, something that happened, you know, with one of your parents. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just got to do something extra, right? But as for Rick Springfield... I've met him quite a few times. We've gone to a couple CB, C, CBs, CD signings. We have gone to book signings with him. Um, I should have grabbed some books. I could have showed you where he signed them. I have pictures. Oh, probably this side more room of us with Rick Springfield. Yes, the little one is Spectre. <laughs> Um, he's met him too a couple times, but, uh, that's just one of the pictures. Again, I've been a Rick Springfield fan, God, 18, 38, 38 years, I think 38 years. Yeah. I'm going to say about 38, almost 40 years. I've been a Rick Springfield fan. My cat, the one you guys see in the videos, the grayish white one. His name is Noah. He's named after Dr. Noah Drake, which is a character Rick Springfield plays on General Hospital, if you did not know that. So I'm a huge Rick Springfield fan. Um, I, I, yeah. So I bought it <laughs> again. Yeah, you know, only one of these I've seen in concert, but I've seen him enough times to count for more than all of these. All right, guys, and I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. Like I said, I mainly, I'm buying them anyway, so I figured I might as show, well show them off if anybody's interested. You know, let me know if you like any of these, if you collect any of these. Have you seen any of these people in concert? All right, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.